Welcome back to Modern Masters, Women Artisans. It is difficult to find an artist who appreciates natural beauty more than wood turner Lizzie Erland. Lizzie is a master at capturing the strength and character of wood. And it turns out, strength of character is something she's mastered in her own life as well. In a valley in the southern Appalachian Mountains, wooden treasures are crafted in partnership with nature. Wood turner Lisi Erland transforms logs from the North Carolina forest into beautiful plates and bowls for use in the home. Her largest bowls stretch more than two feet in diameter. Because it's easier to make a small piece, but it's exciting to make a big piece, and it has gradually grown to get bigger and bigger. Lisi learned the art of wood turning by watching her husband work. He was a master wood turner, and for more than 15 years, Lisi ran his business and did finish work on his pieces. When her husband passed away in 1991, Lisi faced an uncertain future. So she picked up her husband's wood turning tools and carried on the family business. And I hadn't done that much turning. He did all the turning. I did all the finishing banded. But then I decided, well, that's it. You just do it. Today, Lisi is using her tractor to move one of the largest pieces of wood she's tackled yet. She hopes to get several bowls out of this maple log, starting with a large salad bowl. The finished bowl will measure roughly 26 inches across. This is the bottom of the bowl, and when I cut it straight down through here, this is going to be the top edge of the bowl. But it's not until Lisi cuts into the log that the character of the wood is revealed. That looks good. These rings. Working the half of the log she likes best, Lisi roughs out the shape of the bowl with her chainsaw. She splits the log down the middle as if it were a ripe watermelon. Whoa! Yet you'd think after you made one bowl, you don't need to make another bowl, that they'll be all alike. But each piece is different. And it, it has to do with that specific piece of wood. The roughed out bowl weighs close to 300 pounds, but Lisi is determined to move it from her shop to her lathe by herself. To move the heavy wood, Lisi relies on her tractor and on an independent streak that compelled her to move from her native Denmark to the United States more than 30 years ago. I worked in a bank in Denmark for three years and decided it was time for me to get out. Lisi uses an engine hoist to move the wood from the tractor to the lathe. Once the bowl is securely fastened to the lathe, Lisi puts the huge chunk of wood in motion. Lisi uses special cutting tools she designed with her husband to flatten the bottom of the bowl. As Lisi works, she listens for the wood to tell her when it's level. See, right here, see, it's a smooth sound. As you come out here, I can tell, or here, it's out around. When the bottom is flat, Lisi uses her hoist to turn the wood around so she can work with the top of the bowl facing outward. All I, I, did, I decide to do is to take away the excess and the bad spots, and then usually the shape comes out nice. So it's, it's in a way, you know, you let nature decide on its own uh, how it wants to look. The work becomes more precise as Lisi cuts a groove around the edge of the bowl. The groove is Lisi's only guide as she hollows out the center of the bowl with her chainsaw. And then you simply cut all the way around. 
And then I use a crowbar, like a little persuader, to get it out. And then you have a, uh, a pretty nice piece, pretty nice chunk of wood for yet another bowl. But to finish this bowl, Lisi must scrape the inside clean. It takes a full day to perfect the surfaces of the bowl. Then, Lisi spends up to six weeks oiling and sanding to bring out the luster and beauty of the wood. Then I think it, it is the challenge that it is possible to do these big pieces. Lisi's bowls reflect far more than the persistence of an artist. They embody the persistent spirit of a woman who confronted loss and discovered a tremendous gift. Too many people live their lives and they don't really find out what kind of creative abilities they have. And it's too bad because everybody got them. Like the beauty inside the wood, Lisi found within herself the strength and character that shines through in her art. Mm -hmm.